Well, well, well. Hey, how y'all doing? This is Jeremy for MVM, and today I'm here with another um, Solo Sundays, and I'm really excited to be here. Um, I'm up against football again because XFL has started, and the product seems to be pretty decent, so I'm up against that, but that's just fine. I'm so glad you're here with me, and uh, we are going to be playing today Atlantis Rising. Now, Atlantis Rising uh, is a one, two, I believe seven player game. We're going to excuse the other six players, let them go ahead and hang out, uh, you know, enjoy the Sunday festivities. It's just me. And then uh, we're going to allow you to come in and join the party today. Um, what do you do in Atlantis Rising? This is a worker placement game. It's a cooperative worker placement game where basically we're just trying to save ourselves and save Atlantis before it, it, it sinks. And the board's going to increasingly squeeze on us. And uh, we're going to try to get in and out of here. It's a dice rolling game. It's got luck. It's got disaster. It's got everything. Uh, so let's go ahead and get to the table. I'm actually going to be playing a, a true solo, which means I'm actually going to be playing the solo mode. And even though this is a cooperative game, I could probably play like two-handed, three-handed. I'm actually going to play the solo mode. Uh, and on a the level past beginner, I'm just going to go right into it and get pummeled. I'm ready. Are you ready for me? Like Sorcerer City was crazy last week. This is going to be just as uh, emotional, <laughs> let's just say. All right, so here we go. Okay, first of all, let me uh, thank you guys who were there yesterday for the stress test stream that I had on Saturday. Sometimes I do that from my personal account um, just to, you know, just to kind of try some things out the day before solo Sundays. Um, but let me go ahead and talk you through the game. Uh, what we're going to do is it's basically over um, a set, uh, not a set amount of rounds, I basically survive. Uh, we're going to be placing out our workers. Um, this game is over four uh, four phases to a round. You're going to be able to place Atlanteans, which I will place in one of these different spots. I currently have four guys at my disposal, and then I have these. I have a hologram worker, and then this kind of like Otama dude, and I'll talk about what they do. But I'm going to be placing them out over these areas, and really what we're trying to do is collect resources um, and use them to trade them in for these parts right here at the bottom. Um, and these parts will kind of go into this thing, and then when we complete all nine of the parts, we'll complete the core, we'll put it in the core, and when the core is finally built, we finish the game and win. Okay, so that's what we're doing. Gathering resources, placing them, easy peasy, right? <laughs> so then uh, after that, we have what's called the Suffer Misfortunes. Right? This deck right here is going to destroy us. It's going to be our opponent for the day. Um, that is actually in the multiplayer. It's just... There are a ton of events that are going to take these tiles and flip them over and turn them into water. And they will eventually turn this over like this and the board will kind of constrict on me. And I can't, I have to do something. I have to do some increasingly better rolls as we go along. Uh, some of these spots have places for one worker. Some of them have ones for two. And then some of them have where you have to have two together no matter what. Uh, but yeah, after that, we have that. Um, and then we actually take our actions. So we place the workers, let the bad stuff happen. And then we actually take our actions after that. So that's punishing. I mean, Lord, Lord Jesus. And then we take we endure the wrath of the gods, which is this track right here. And it will increasingly take more tiles off our board. So we have a lot to do. It's going to close in real quick. Just watch me go through the struggle. And I'll kind of explain these things as I do them. Okay. Um, so the first thing I want to do. Uh, is every round in the solo game only, I'm going to receive one of these Mystic Energies. Mystic Energies do several things in this game. Uh, they add one to pip dice rolls. They allow me to keep an extra library card. They help me build these mystical barri uh, barriers that help me block from one of these tiles from flooding. And they also can help me unflood a tile if I have a certain amount. So that's why I, I get those one every round probably because I don't have as many workers as you know, a four-player game, three-player game, things like that. I also, to start the round, get a little help from my hologram worker, okay? Um, so what I would do is I draw two cards. I flip them both over. I choose one of them to be my, my helper for this round. And all these are our abilities. I should probably tell you mine. Um, I'm the guardian and, it's guardian, and it says, when a tile in the same peninsula as your leader is about to be flooded, you may prevent this tile from from flooding by returning your leader to your pool without taking it uh, its own action. So it's kind of like a, a like a save all for me. Uh, let's see. So then I also have, let's see, I have a scholar. Search the artifacts that were removed from the game setup and choose one. So this is, I can choose some of these artifacts that I have. I don't want that one. 
I think I want this champion. When a tile, the hologram is on floods, all Atlanteans on that immediately take the action. Okay, so if, I think I'm going to use this one. And when I do that, it's just going to be out there for the round, and this one becomes part of a discard pile. I think I'm going to, I'm going to just move that off screen or something like that. But for right now, that is my helper. Okay, so I have these four kind of like little guy Elanian workers. I have my champion, my guardian person here, and they are the ones that I have to have. I have to on there to trigger that ability. And this one just simulates that one right there for the round. And then this automa right here has to be placed with someone. So it has to be placed with someone and it can help these two other workers, up to two other workers, add plus two to their die roll. So if I were to roll a, a four, that would make it a six. So gotta have that. So what am I gonna do? The first thing I'm going to do without a doubt is um, I'm going to place two here, two here. And what this place is, is this is the city. This is where you can produce workers. I have to roll two dice. And when I roll those two dice, um, I have to have eight or more. And the way I can also do that is, is I can do uh, my die roll plus where I am on the raft track. I just need more workers, so that's what I'm gonna go for. Um, let's see. And then I'm also gonna start grabbing uh, when the tile is on the wheel of flood and the Atlantis on that immediately take their action. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna put these this is not needed. I'm gonna put these guys on here. And then I'm gonna put the hologram worker here. I'm just gonna risk my whole situation. Actually, I'm gonna do this. And then put that one out there in the library. And I'll show you what these all do. But for right now, um, actually I'll just talk about well, I'll talk about when we get to it. Okay, so that's all my little worker placement actions here. I went here so I can get more people. I can recruit my, the rest of my people. I'm going here to get library cards, which will give you abilities. We'll talk about that. And then I'm gonna go get these little kind of nugget looking things. All right, here we go. My dogs are going insane because they, uh, my son probably came through the front door. Okay, so now we have our first misfortune. And all these are, our cards are gonna tell me that specific tiles from uh, a certain lane are going to, to flip. So the forest is going to flip. Number two. And for a solo play game and a two player game, I have to at least flip over four. So this is uh, the forge, which is gonna be this one. All right, and this one, Calm Seas, we want those. Now, in a different modes, you're gonna have a certain amount in there. Uh, in the regular game, you have nine, I think, and this one I have six. So that, that's one of those nine right there. And then I have one more. One more, that is gonna be the cities. Lord Jesus, thank you, that was not down there. Perfecto. All right, good to go. All right, now I take my actions. I can take them in any order, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I get to choose two cards. And when I do this, um, the, in this game, uh, I can actually take two cards and I will place them under. It starts out where I take two cards at the bottom and take both of these cards. Then it moves up to take one of these cards and place the other one under the deck. Then it starts to go to this, take two cards, keep one card, and then discard one. And once these cards are discarded, they're out of the game, unless I get some ability or award that says so. Uh, so let's see what I got here. In a wild peninsula, when you roll six, you can collect this resource and roll again. This is a good one. Convert one or two of your mystic energy into an equal number of resources of your choice. Now, this artifact stays in front of me for, for the entire game. This one is just a one-time use. I can use them at any time. Um, I, I kind of like having things like this simply because it stays in front of me and I can use that ability any time, which is great. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and keep that one. And that's going to give me, in a wild peninsula, when you roll a six, you collect uh, the resource and roll again, which is awesome. All right, so that's done. And then when I'm done with that guy, I lay it down. All right, over here, I got to roll threes. So I'm going to go ahead and roll threes twice. That's what I'm going to do. Watch me. One, two, three, four. All right, here we go. One, 
I rolled a six. Thank you. Two. I rolled a one. Now, I do get that resource for that one. Now, what I could do is use one of these. I can use two of these right here to raise this up to three. Um, and I think that's what I'm going to do because I want these nuggets very early because I need to start converting them. So I'm going to go ahead and change in two. That would bump this up two to a three like that. All right. So then I do that. I get this. All right. And now I'm going to be chucking two dice for each one of these, hoping to get eight. Here we go. That is five. That's not going to work for me. All right. <laughs> That's not going to work at all. That really stinks. Here we go. We need people bad. We need people. Yes, we do. All right. So boom. Like, let's say like right here, let's say I, I rolled a, a six. Okay. This gives, this gives this worker plus two. So it would have been a, an eight. Okay. So just so you know how that works. Now I get one of my peoples. Okay. I get an extra one of my peoples. And then boom, we are done with my take actions. And then finally, we're just going to endure the wrath of the gods. No big deal. Nothing happens in the first round. Now we're going to move to the next round where at least one will get taken out. And as you can see, it progressively gets worse. Um, that's great, right? All right, here we go. Good morning, Matt. Hey, hey, party people. Thank you so much for joining today. Um, let's see. Yes, I did shave, right? Yes, since yesterday, I did shave. Isn't that crazy? Um, I can morph. <laughs> All right. So uh, let's see. Every round in the solo game only, I do get one of these mystic energies. All right. So let's see what we got here. I'm going to put these up here. All right. Okay, so now we, here we are. We are going to start really working on changing some things uh, and starting to build these as fast as possible. Now, I can build these in any order I want. I have to build all these pieces um, uh, any way I want. I have, to just build, I have to build all of them, plus this core, which is slightly off screen here. Um, and there's a lot of resources. We're talking about 12, 13 resources apiece. Um, so... What I want to do is start spreading myself out just a little bit. I think what we're going to do now, well, and I did this when I was playing before. I think this is why I uh, messed up. So now I'm going to take the top two cards off of here first because I got to figure out what my hologram is going to be. We have the Explorer. The Explorer says when a hologram is on a tile uh, in a wild peninsula, the target number for that tile is less than one, uh, one less. That's good. Uh, Mystic, when another Atlantean is on the same tile as the hologram and the hologram fails, you may remove your hologram without taking its own action to allow the Atlantean to succeed instead of fail. Ooh. Huh. Well, I think I might do that one simply because I can make myself kind of fail by putting it up here and knowing that if I fail, then I would get it. I would get another person. So when another Atlanta is on the same tile as a hologram and it fails their action, you may remove the hologram without taking its own action. Yeah, let's do that. So let's do that. We're going to put this up here to make it fail. Hope, I mean, if we roll two sixes, great, right? <laughs> but I probably won't. Um, let's see. Have faith, young man. Okay, uh, have faith, young pet one. All right, so... Definitely still want to rely on this here being flooded. So I'm going to go ahead and do this now. Right here. Okay, so this will give me these crystals right here. And all we're really doing is grabbing, gathering components that will help me get what I need. All right, that's all we're doing. Uh, so down here we have the gold. Um, I'm going to, sorry, these shouldn't even be here. Um, I'm going to just put these two here. I would have to roll a four to get them and then i will take this one right there and turn and start converting resources here we go here we go i believe i believe let's do this i'm going to do this so that i get a couple of these actually i'm just going to go ahead and do this i'm going to spread the wealth a little bit 
That seems so reductive. Okay, why don't we do that? Okay, we're going to be converting resources this turn. There is somewhat of a method to this madness, but really not at all. So here we go. <laughs> all right, so now we're over to the suffer misfortunes. Uh, the first one's going to be library. So this flips it over, and it is going to get wet. All right, we have force again. Now, this one right here, it says, when a tile, this is about to flood here, um, and your leader is about to be flooded, you may prevent it by returning your leader to the pool, okay, and then without taking its own action. So I can basically just stop it. It's kind of like the first stop. I can't get another force, though. Come on. Oh, another library. This is not good. All right. So that's two cities. Uh-oh. Got one more of those that we have to we can roll eights for. And then four. Control flood. Now this is bad. So what control flood is, is it takes two tiles. Okay, so not good, sir. Not good, sir. Now I can choose the two tiles. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose this one here and this one here. All right, spread it out a little bit. I don't want to. I don't have to either. Why don't I just do this both of these two right here? These numbers are so low for these. This is threes and fours, two threes and fours. It's the lowest in the game. So I kind of want to get that part done where I turn this ore into what's called Atlantium. And it's it's since it's like got a slower process, you kind of want to get those done first, but you can't neglect these. And that's what I did the first time I played. Um, so there we go. All four of those are done. Um, yeah, so here we go. I'm going to do these in this order. The first two I'm going to take care of is I'm going to turn these two into these two or into uh, four. So each one that I do, I get two of these, I mean, uh, two of these little Atlanteos. Now, I just want to let you know this stuff is from a um, from the cloud of the collector's edition and this mat. And by the way, thank you so much to the team over at Elf Creek Games, Brent and Mike, uh, for sending this to me to play for you. This is not sponsored, but I'm sure they did me a big solid by sending this to me. Um, and, I, and I'm very, very thankful for that. Shout out to them. Wakanda forever. All right. Here we go. Um, let's see. So we're gonna we're gonna do this one here. Remember, I can add two to this. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll. I'm only gonna roll one die, and it happened to be a one. That's beautiful. <laughs> so that makes it uh, two, three. So that's three, and I'm gonna use one of these to make it four. All right. So then I get my little gold nugget, and then finally we have our our hologram guy, and uh, we have our um, what's the name and our. Uh, our little Atlantean. Here we go. Now we still have this ability here, so if we fail, then we get it anyway. All right, so this is seven. I just want to let you know how this works. So this is seven, and you get plus you get plus whatever this is over here. So I would actually have eight. Okay, I failed, but I can remove this hologram guy and actually have a success, which would be um which will be this one here. So I get another person. All right, so I get another person. All these are gonna come off. I'm not doing terrible. So I'm, I'm feeling not doing terrible. It seems like everything is going well. Um, let's see, and then we have our last one here, which is five. And I got it. So now I have one of these crystals. And by the way, these crystals are really freaking sweet. I like them so much, they're so cool. All right, so I'm going to put that on there. You know, so I'm not really into deluxe components, but when they are that good, sometimes you just go like, ooh, hey, you know, like <laughs> sometimes there are a couple different publishers that kind of just do it right. Um, what's another one is um, uh, Burnt Island. Like they just, theirs is just tricked out. It's like, it's very nice, high quality stuff. I like that. Um, let's see. Um, now we are on to the raft. Uh, we are at the wrath here, and we are going to remove one additional tile. That one additional tile is definitely going to come here from the bottom. All right, so we're going to lose that one. All right, moving on to the next round. 
I'm gonna slide that over. I'm gonna get one. All right, so I gotta start going in here and start making things. So let's see what we can possibly make this round. That's what this area over here is for. Uh, so I have a couple things that I can make. I do have one gold, which that gets me down to this one and this one. I have one gold, I have one crystal. So one gold, one crystal right here. Uh, that's that one. One gold, maybe I can do this. One gold or two crystals. So maybe I need to get another crystal this round, okay? Maybe I need another crystal. Maybe I need two crystals. I need like 10 anyway. <laughs> so let's see. All right. So in order to make sure I do get this done, this, this cycle of back and forth with, with this part, I'm going to dedicate some of my resources to that. But let's go ahead and, and see what we got this round here. We go, oh, we got the Aquanaut. Here we go. I like the Aquanaut. Uh, you may place the hologram on any flooded tile, and this tile is available for use this round by anyone following the user placement rules. Um, and then the astrolog astro astrologer, you may place the hologram in up to two Atlanteans after suffering the fortunes. So I can wait, wait and see what happens and then place them. I'm not going to do that one. I'm going to do this aquatic one here because I can go basically underwater. All right. Uh, basically, and just say, hey, like this is underwater. I'm going there. Um, so it says you may place this hologram on any flooded tile. That tile is available to, for use this round. Hmm. See, if I do this, I can get like one of these lower, lower ones here. This is eight. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to do this one here. Now I'm going to just flip it over so you can see that it doesn't say that you can do that, but I'm just going to flip it over anyway. Um, I'm going to put the hologram guy here, right? ASAP. Put this right here. Okay. So I have, cause I have to do that. I have to put them together. I'm also going to go ahead and get some crystals. So we're going to go ahead and just, we're just going to move this up for safety. We're going to, we're going to move this up for safety. There are events that push you further in, into the inland too. So don't, you know, don't worry. Don't worry. They, they make it nice and hard for you. Okay. Um, I still need this ingot here. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put these all here. And I'm also anticipating that I do get this right. I'm going to actually build something. So I'm going to actually build one of these component things. I'm also looking for a place to put my champion to save their hides if something goes, if goes wrong here. Um, because I do want crystals. I want crystals now. Well, I sound like I sound a real angry when I said I want crystals now. All right. <laughs> I want crystals now. Um, give me the crystals. How about this? I kind of want some more. I don't want to give these guys up. Uh, uh, all right. I have to get I have to get more mystical energy because I want to make sure I have some of my pool. Um, so I can create these barriers right here and I'll show you what they do when I get one because I'm very hopeful of myself here All right, so here we go. Boom. We are going to move over to the uh, Suffer misfortunes the forge is slowly closing now this 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 does not mean this is not good Because even though this doesn't seem as useful once this goes away. I will not be able to convert two resources I'll only be able to convert one at a time. That's not good. So that's one two is going to be the hills. Thankfully, nobody was over there. I was considering that. Three, energy rain. Each counselor loses two mystical energy. Are you kidding me, dude? Come on. Come on. Come on. All right, so there are these other special misfortunes here. I'm going to kind of show a real close up to you. There are different types of misfortunes, and as you can see, those are the basic ones. But then you also have these ones that are like events. Um, that do even more crazy stuff. So what was that? One, two, three, and now our fourth, the mountains. The mountains, I believe, is this one here. So the mountains. I am going to lose this guy so that I can actually take the action. Uh, as a leader, um, the flooded, you flooded, you prevent this by flooding by returning your leader to your pool. I forgot to put this guy down. Oh my God. 
oh my god i forgot to use this worker oh my goodness this my friends is not good okay <laughs> oh my god all right so i will lose today <laughs> so, <laughs> all right uh so there you go so now i take my actions <laughs> so uh, so part of people i will lose today the first thing i'm gonna do is just take my mystical energy because it really i want to make sure if i miss a roll by one i'll get it uh, we're going to roll for this here. I want to make sure I have other people. Just kind of want to see right where that's at. That is six right here, plus the one, which is seven. So then I would pass this one here. These guys are going to get laid down. I'm going to get my last worker there. And now we're going to do this one over here. We're going to roll this die. We're going to get four. We get one of these here, laid down. Over here, we have fives that we need to get. All right, I'm gonna change my dice up. Here we go, one at a time. That one's not gonna do it. Um, this one right here, come on, big roll, four. And then I'm gonna use my one mystic energy to make it a five, and that will pass. All right, cool. All right, now I'm going to build one of these. I do have the goal to build this one here. It says gain two mystical energy, mystic energy. Um, I also have uh, enough to build this one here. It says this is the recollection engine. I randomly draw two library cards, keep one, and put one on the bottom of the deck. Um, let's see. Ooh, shuffle comp seize card. I'm going to save that one. Unflood one tile. I'm going to save that one. Okay. Discard one resource and then any player takes two of that source. That's helpful. Um, let's see. These are all helpful and they're very overpowered. But the cool part is, is that some actually become worker placement spots, which helps. And then others, you know, are just kind of like a one-time thing and they flip. Boy, my, my doggy is being very loud today. Um, I think it's going to be this one here. Uh, so with that one worker here, and you could, in a multiplayer game, if there are multiple players, they can combine in these spaces to build something. So they would have to gather all their resources from around the table, and then they would have to put their different color workers on that one spot to contribute to build one of these. In a solo game, you don't really do that. Of course, you're, all the shared resources are yours. This one right here, the solar matrix, is going to flip, and it's going to give me... Uh, one mystical barrier. Now, this mystical barrier is going to stop a tile from flooding once. Now, of course, you just saw the one that's like a flood. The flood, it can't. It can stop one, but it can't stop two. So it kind of is like a. It, it's a deterrent, uh, but it's not going to stop much. Okay, um, I'm going to put it. I don't know where should I put it. Uh, let's put it here. There's a little standees for it, but I want you to you know, see it because it's top down. I'm going to put it there. Yeah, I'm going to put it there. Okay, so this round we still have one tile going away. That one tile is going to be from back here. We're going to leave, leave that alone. Boom, right there. Wrath of the Gods have been endured. Let's bring everybody back. Move this time back over here. Move these back. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da. All right, I got all my workers. Okay. This goes here. We move over. I get one energy. Next round. Okay. It is a nice game, uh, Drew. I um uh I think not only is this game just beautiful, it's fun, it's hard, it's got big moments. And I like that. I like games that have big moments. You know, there's one thing to have an engine going uh, in a game and like filling the, you know, things of triggering. But I like the highs and lows of certain dice games as long as they're mitigation along the way. And we know, you know, we know what's up, but we can do some things about it. Uh, that's in there. And then, you know, the thrill of victory, agony of defeat. All right, here we go. Next one. We have the priest. Each Atlantean on a tile with the hologram may re-roll a single failed roll. I like that. Uh, when you place an Atlantean, you may place the hologram on an empty placement spot on an unbuilt component for this round. That component is available for use by the hologram and others. Ooh. Cool. Ooh. Ooh. 
Oh, that would stink. If this had a worker placement spot, I could unflood one tile. That would have been awesome. <laughs> All right, so let's see. I'm going to save myself. I have this one down here. It's called Num uh, Numinous Beacon. And it says that next round I gain two volunteers. And volunteers are just like these little little helper peoples. And they come and they help you for a round to help do worker placement and stuff. Um, but what am I doing? This is me. This is what I do. Um, pivotal choices that don't seem so pivotal right away. All right, why don't I do this? I'm going to go ahead and use the priest. All right, it's going to be the priest this round. Okay, we just got to make sure we do some things that are a little bit risky. Um, we want some library cards. We definitely want library cards. So let's do that. We definitely want library cards because we want to make sure we get some abilities. I don't want to use that guy. Why would I use him? All right, we're going to definitely get this out of the way and start converting these resources. Uh, let's see. Um, let's see, I get to re-roll here. Oh, I want Mystic Energy so bad. <laughs> I want it so bad. All right. The crazy part is, is that the, the process of making these things is so tough. You, you just can't miss out on a moment of, uh, you know, of um, getting these things. Man. I think what we're going to do. Oh, my gosh. Ugh. Ugh. This is hard. I probably should have took the other one. And I'm risking this not working. I feel like I should have put the mystical barrier here. Oh, well. Um, I'm just going to risk it. Uh, and then I'll... Oh, I'm going to risk it big time. That stinks. Why am I risking it? Okay. All right. I'm going to just put that... Oh, all right. I'll put it right there. <laughs> all right. I feel the pressure. Uh... I feel the pressure. Okay, I feel the pressure. Whew. Here we go. One, the mountains. Whoa. Two, the cities. Whew. Lord, Lord Jesus, thank you. All right. Three, darkness. Discard nine cards from the top of the library deck. Now, this deck is full of awesome things, and once it's gone, it's gone. So, I, I mean, that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That really, that hurts. That's like a good chunk of that deck of cards. Let me see if any artifacts are in there. One, two, two of the four that are in there. I have the third right here. So, hopefully, I have something that I can get in there and find something. Uh, that really hurts. That was three. Four. Oh no, cities, no! Ugh. 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 <laughs> this cities is flooding too fast. And now, people, comes the pressure. Okay. <laughs> now comes the pressure. Hmm, what am I going to do? I have this right here. It's going to give me one energy. This is going to be tough. It's going to be real tough now. Um, wow. Let's do this one here. So we're going to roll fives. We're going to roll. We're, we're not using any mystical energy. We're just going to roll these fives. Bang. Two, that does not help. It. All right, so the priest, I get one reroll. It says... Um, each Atlantean on the tile with the hologram may re-roll a single failed roll. So second roll, we got a five. Done deal. We get it. Boom. Hologram. Bam.
Bam, we rolled a five. Good to go. Done. That was easy. You remember that commercial? That was easy. What was that for? Staples, I think it was. That was easy. All right. <laughs> All right, so we have a four for our thing it there. All right, and then we have one more. Come on, fours. Yes. Boy, I'm just rolling these exact fours, and I'm feeling good. I'm feeling fly. All right. And uh, we have our two, which are just worker placement spots, and I can turn one of these into two of those. So I'm going to do that, and now I have four more. Two, three, four. I'm only going to need, I think I'm going to need like 16 for the game, so trust me. It's not like I'm just doing awesome at this. All right, so now we go to our libraries. Um, I take two. Look at one, and then I discard it from the game. Oh, here we go. Tether and armor. Once per round, when a tile floods, you may move all your Atlanteans to the mystic power source. Ooh. Pay one less resource when building a component. That's a good one, too. But I do like the save right here. This is going to save me, so I think I'm going to use that. How about that? I'm going to use that. And I can only have a max of four cards in my hand, but those count as two of them. And that's so fine because those are like, those are clutch. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go ahead and deal with that. That's everything. That was my whole turn. This guy's down. Okay. They're all going to come back to me. And now we got some serious choices to make, man. We got to start building some more components, which we are next round. Um... Hmm. By the way, why was I on here? What was I building? I just realized that. What was I building? <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. I have all my people. What am I doing? That's two rounds wasted. Um, but it's not the end of the world. It's just that like now I'm gonna choose one here. When you make choices like this live, it is so much harder. I tell, I tell people, like, you just have no idea how hard it is to do it, like, live. <laughs> All right, here we go. So that's my that's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. Okay, so I did, did those two. We move forward one, and we grab another one of these. And to the deck. Our last two. Guardian. Um, the Guardian is just like I am, so we know that one. And any island containing a hologram will support one additional beyond its max capacity. Hmm. I don't even care about that. Uh, so we're going to do the Guardian just simply because we can, um, we, can, we can still get what we want when we want it. All right. Once again, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. You guys are in and out. That's great. Thank you so much anyway. Um, I really do appreciate it. I really do. We only have so much time on this planet, so thank you. Uh, let's see. We are going to definitely build some things this round. What do we have things for, though? Um, we only saw one calm, so we're not worried about that. We may want to unflood one tile now, but we're going to need another gold. So we're going to be chasing that down, but that's fine. We know we're going to build something anyway, so we got we have to. we got to start building this stuff. Um, we're going to definitely build this one here, so I need gold again. I need three gold. I need this one right here. I need two crystal. Okay, we got to start building this stuff. I think we're going to do this one. Two crystal, two gold. So I, I just need gold. This is what we're talking. We're talking gold talk. And we still got to do some converting. Okay, we still got to do some converting. Still got to do some converting. And we may have to unflood a tile here just so we have more room to do what we need to do. So I'll tell you what, we're definitely going to have to put a champion there to get one of these done. All right. And then we're still going to... Um, we're going to do one of these to get this done. I'm even going to put another one here. And then I'm even going to do this. Because we're still got to chip away at these. Um... We 
still got to chip away at this produ production. And since I have, since I have this here, I know I can take one there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm also going to gain one of these simply because I'm one. I'm probably going to try to unflood a tile next round if I can. And I'm not using this again. So let's go ahead and put that with this. Actually, let's just wait around because we have that. So why don't we just put this guy here because um, they add two to each person's role that's there. Or I could take this. If I get one, two, three of these, then I can go chase the two mystical energy, make five of them, and then unflood one of these tiles. There's also the threat of these the waters coming in. And if I can't turn over, if I turn over a card and I can't turn that over, then I uh, then I have to do two tiles. So it's like... You don't want that to happen either. You can't just completely look like this, like I don't need any more people. Uh, so, with that being said, no, I'm going to go ahead and get all this gold because I have a lot of other things that I can use this gold for. I got a lot of bars and I got a lot of gold. All right, so let's do it. Pray for me. Here we go. One, the force. All right, so the force slowly going away that's fine though that's actually okay all right fury advance the raft track by one step oh no no all right yay no all right just yay no oh that's bad that right there is going to be the death of me right there so that's two three the mountains once again so this one right here i can discard this to stop it from flooding so i'm going to go ahead and do that dang it you can't have them all right let's get a forge yes all right so the forge comes off boom it's saved okay so that's all four of my cards action here is going to be water i mean i'm sorry mystic energy um i'm going to go ahead and I'm not going to use that right away. Let's see how we fare over here with this four. Because we're going to roll that four, though. Oh, that's a two. Hmm. Do I care? Do I care? How many do I need now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have three, six, eight. I need one more. I guess I care. I do. I guess I care a lot. Yeah, I care. I care enough. So I'm going to add the two there to that. And then that's going to be able to give me this right here. Um, because next round I'm definitely going to convert it, but then I won't need any more for the rest of the game. Uh, let's see. So now we move forward to the um, to our people. I'm going to change my dice up. That was... No, that was not good. Here we go. I have to roll fours. So here we go. Four. Boom. Five. Yes. Roll four. Activate. Six. Yes. Boom. Now, on a peninsula, a wild peninsula, which I believe these are wild peninsulas, if I roll a six, I collect the resource, and then I roll again. Yeah, that didn't work. Okay. <laughs> All right. So for here, uh, let's see. So now we have plus two for this. So here we go. Let's get some good rolls. Let's make this easy. Yes. And get to roll again. No. All right. Wait. I rolled a four. Plus two. Yes. Okay. Done. Oh, okay. Here we go. We're this guy. That's a one. Plus two is three, so no. Okay. Um, that's that. Okay. You know, I didn't use this ability. This one right here. Once per round, when a tile floods, you may move all your Atlanteans there. To, oh, no, that would have been this one right here if I would have moved them away. I'm good. That was a very, very good work replacement situation. Okay, here we go. Um. Oh, I see Mike down there. Hey, Mike, you know what? Thank you, man. Not, you know, not me. Thank you. Um, good man, man. Really good man. Uh, let's see. 
I'm going to just try to think. What do I do, party people? What do I do? Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and unflood one tile. That that tile is gonna be oh well, this will take me back to fives, right? I probably want to do that and go back to the fives. But clearly, if I do that, I'm gonna start giving up some of the stuff I really, 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 really need. Because now I have to give up three per round. So let's unflood the tile. No, let, let's save it. Let's save it. Let's just save it. We're going to go ahead and do this one here. We're going to build uh, the Mystic Siphon. And what that does is, is it's a work replacement spot now. And it's going to give me two Mystic Energy. So let me go ahead and put that. I'm going to flip this like this. Um, it's, it's supposed to go in here, but I'm going to put it right here so I can see it. And then I know where it's, it's supposed to go. How about that? So I'm going to do this too. Am I going to do that? Ooh. I really want that Mystic Energy, partly because I, it, the more I produce, the better right now. Although I want this one because it says more volunteers, the volunteers. All right, I'll hold off. So I'm going to go ahead and make this one right here. And then with the gold. Okay, so there you go. There's that one. Then can I make anything else? Because I decided I was going to make two things. And the other one is going to have to be all gold bars. Gold and bars. Gold and bars. I can't unflow one tile. I can't exchange one resource for any other resource. I can remove one special or two mystic, uh, two basic fortunes from the game. Reshuffle the deck. Ooh, this might be it right here. Let's do it. We're going to do this one right here in predict, prediction module. So I'm going to take these three, three gold, two of the Atlantium. Put that there, put that there. And now I have another worker placement spot. Okay. And like I said, now I have one that I can do two Mystic Energy. I just put my worker on there and it go and it does that. Um, I have two spots for those in a five player game. I have three. This one, I only have one spot, remove one uh, special or two basic misfortunes from the game and then reshuffle the, uh, reshuffle the deck. That's going to be huge for me because I'm probably going to be doing that once per round. Um, but as far as turns go, that is my round. Okay. So as you can see, this is actually not, at first I was like, oh, this thing is like really uh, fiddly. And da, 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 da. By the way, I can't stand using fiddly. This is so fiddly. Uh, you're playing board games. <laughs> you got to grab a whole bunch of bits. Uh, but <clears throat> it's really easy when you start getting to it, unless I'm playing it totally wrong, which always makes things easy when you're playing it wrong. Uh, <laughs> this game is really easy to play. You're playing it wrong. Um, so now we have to get rid of three tiles. I can't touch this one. I just can't. I need it one more time, or do I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three, six. I just need to convert this one more time. But I do need the tile just in case I get like crazy, crazy events. I'm going to go ahead and, and. I'm not giving that up. One. It, it sped up so fast for me. So there we go. It sped up so fast, guys two oh man when you see that water you start getting all tense <laughs> uh it's gonna be this one i guess all right Oof, that ain't no good bro <laughs> that ain't no good that just ain't no good that ain't no good all right here we go <laughs> oh but hey Hey, we get to get in the water here. We need to get, we get, we get to get wet. Now the artificer is one that you use in the base game. It says when you place an Atlantean, you may place the hologram on an empty placement spot on an unbuilt component. And for this round, I get to use it. Um, and then we have the Aquanaut, which I, you can use any one of these underwater spots, um, even though they're flooded for this turn. I don't need people anymore. Uh, so what am I going to be looking for? I'm going to be looking probably for the easiest route to get more crystals. I still need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I still need nine crystals. And I'm at spots 
they're going to cost me six. So I definitely want to go back down to here somewhere. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna flip this over because I want you to see that I'm using it for this round. So that's what this one's gonna be. I'm gonna be the aquanaut, of course, as you can tell. I'm trying to get all up in the water, in the water. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and place them on the flooded towel here. Okay. Then I'm going to. Um, I'm going to just do this twice. No, I'm not. I'm going to do this and just hope for the best. Oh, I still, I get this. I forgot. All right. I'm going to go ahead and put one work on here to get two mystical energy. Um, I'm also going to remove one of these. Uh, do one of these and use these modules. So now you can see, now you have to start using these things because these abilities are so important that you start using them. I'm also going to, uh, I'm going to attempt to build this one this round. I, I need one more, I need to convert one more of these. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and put one out here. So that one will get taken care of. Ooh, I'm going to put it all the way up here. I'm so afraid. And then Let's see. Let's get the gold out of the way. How much more gold do we need? I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I need ten gold. So let's just get all of them up here. Let's get get this guy up here so we can do it twice. Um and we have to we really are taking some risky shots here. Uh, maybe I want to add, you know, maybe I want to try some cards because I, at least I'll have two cards. I could pay another one. If I get some really good juicy cards, then I can probably, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. And then we'll put, we'll get a mystic barrier because we believe in ourselves. All right. We want, we're trying to build barrier. We're trying to get, we're either trying to unflood or get a barrier. We are trying a whole bunch of crap at once. As you can see, I'm all spread out, counting on rolls. People are going to die. <laughs> you are going to die. Ah, here we go. No floods. No floods. All right, mountains. All right, so we got one of those. So this is a big threat right here. Calm seas. Thank you so much for calm seas finally arriving. Okay, finally. So that's two. Forests. So I think this floods, not this one here. I think so. Let me make sure. When you place a hologram on any flooded tile, that tile is available this round by anyone. Following usual placement rules, when a tile in that peninsula floods, treat the tile with hologram as though it is also flooded. Okay, so this is gonna go. Oh, crikey, crikey. Hey, Jimmy, how did, how, how did your stream go, man? All right, I hope your stream went well. I remember you said you were gonna stream with your kids. Hopefully you did, hopefully you had some fun. Um, trying to get my son to do dad and a dude again here. I love doing that. And uh, yeah, he just, he just kept going, to, he kept getting wishy-washy about it. So that's three. Oh Lord, this is not good, guys. And the hills. We are and we still have to give up three three spots here at the end of the round. Wow. Devastation is about to occur. All right. <laughs> here we go. So we have our two, two mystic energy here. We have uh we're going to remove one special or two basic misfortunes. So let's go ahead and Let's just just look at the top. I need I need a round. I need a round. Ooh. Ooh. See, ooh. Ooh. That would have been devastating. Oh. Um. We're gonna get rid of these floods. Uh 
Uh, we're going to get rid of the one, one control flood. Remove one special or two misfortunes from the game. Reshuffle the deck. Oh, but you know what I could do is, is, is stop this from happening. Huh. How many are in here? Let's see. So we need the mountains to stay around. We got one mountain. We need mountains to stay, and we also need forests to stay. So let's see. I need this right here. I need these reduced waters, unflooded tile. Hopefully those get to the top. I have one more control flood there. Mountains. I think it's going to be this one because it floods three tiles. So let's go ahead and get rid of that one. All right. Um, and then reshuffle the deck. That one right there, that catastrophic flood is basically this event happening during the round. It's, it's just punishing. That's absolutely punishing. That is not fair. That is just not fair. <laughs> it's absolutely not fair. All right. We like to be fair here over in Man vs. Meeple. That's not fair. Like that's punishing. That's okay. I like this. I like that. Um, how are you liking the game so far? I'd like to see everybody still in the chat. We got some people still in here. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, whether you're in and out, you've just arrived, you've been here the whole time, thank you. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so those are gone. Those two. I think I took my mystical energy. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. Um, so I had this two here, three here. Um, we're converting one more time. We're converting one of these into this. Now we have all the landing we need. We are taking two cards. Oh, look at that. Well, you know what? I may have cheated here. Let's see. One, two. I might have to look in here real quick. Actually, no. No. Okay. These are all four of them. Oh, okay. Um, so I have your Mystic Energy increases die up to two instead of one whenever you would recruit a new follower from the city you may instead take one resource of your choice Ooh, i like this though this mystic energy being worth uh two instead of one so when i roll a die i can get plus two that helps and it helps me spend less of it as well so now i can only really have one card in my hand but that's fine uh that's fine okay so we've done all that um, all right, making sure if I roll sixes here, I'm going to get another chance to roll once per round. When a tile flood, you may move all my Atlanteans. I didn't need to do that. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to start over here on the right. Uh, remember, we get plus two here. So we're rolling. Oh my gosh, I can't afford that right now. But if I spend one, that's three. And if I spin the one, it's a five. Oh, it equals plus two, so it's a five. Man, I didn't want to use that, but I need these so bad, and it's, it would save me a round, so why not? All right, we're rolling for this guy here, and he gets a five. It would have been a seven. That's fine with me. I do not care. I need these so bad. Um, but I really need these the worst, so... Hopefully I roll well. Uh, so we have a five. That is a two. That's not well at all. Um, that's not well at all. Come on. Oh, God. <laughs> Carrie Strug does not stick a landing on that one. <laughs> you have to be a certain age to know that one. Um, Carrie Strug does not stick a landing. Um, yeah. Why don't you lay down there? You failed. Um, so this is going to be a tough round, a tough close to a round. All right. All these guys are going to come back. Oh, crikey. 
Now, now that I've seen the devastation that has happened, wow, all right, <laughs> this gets flipped back over. I have to get rid of three tiles. This puts a lot of pressure on me. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and make these two the first that I do. Puts a lot of pressure on me. Whoops. Lots of pressure. Okay, that's two of those. I'm gonna keep this one because I still need it bad. I'll flip this over like this. And now we have endure the wrath of the gods. <laughs> All right, it's okay. I'm not a sore loser. I'm not a sore loser. I lose with a smile. I do lose with a smile. Sorry about what the dog did. My dog is insane. I got a puppy. <laughs> Sorry about that. You hear the dog? It's my, I got this puppy. He's a little excited about life. Oh, uh, let's see. I have my guardian and the champion. When a hologram is in uh is on floods. Tile is wait, when a tile, the hologram is on floods. All Atlanteans on that tile immediately take the action uh for the tile before being returned to the uh, counselor's pool. And this one right here, once again, I can take the action. It's the exact same as my, my council person. But before I do that, I do have exactly five of these uh, right here. We just don't want a control flood to happen. <sighs> This is a tough choice, man. Um, it's going to be the Guardian, by the way. So if it floods, at least I know I have a chance. All right, so I know I got to build two of these. I know I got to build two this round. I have to. Uh, each round that I do survive, uh, if I do, I have to build. I have to build. So what am I going to protect? These only have one on them, so I have to almost protect one of the other. Um, I'm going to do that by paying four of these Mystic Energy. Okay, so the four Mystic Energy are going to create one here. I'm going to put it there so I know I don't lose, uh, unless there's a, a flood that I have to deal with. I know that I at least can take one hit in a sense to that that uh, area. I'm gonna go ahead and put because um, I need crystal bad. I need it bad right now. I'm gonna put as many of these as I can on there. So that's those two. I'm also since this is a five, and I don't see it happening, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this. The hologram is gonna be there. I have three gold. I need one, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I need ten gold. I have three. I need seven more gold, man. Lord. <laughs> oh my God. Um, <laughs> this game will it, it will hurt. It will bend you a little bit. Let's see. Discard one of the resources, and then any player takes two of the resource. Two. Discard one resource, then any player takes two of the resource. This is kind of useless for what I'm doing. Um... Yeah. The problem is, is that I don't think I have enough to with to hold off what's about to happen. I mean like I could actually put I can put this guy here simply because it would stop it from flooding. And then I would take that action, which is fine. It would just save that, like almost like having a mystical barrier. Um, so I may have to make that move. And that really pains me because if I had one more worker, I'd put it on here. 
two, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. That's going to have to be what it is. I, I, I need crystal so bad, and I wish I had another worker or two. Maybe I'll build this one right here and put it on there so that I get two extra workers if I survive another round. All right, here we go. Whew. I believe. Here we go. <laughs> that was my pep talk. Uh, let's see. Cities. Thank you. Keep picking on the cities. Why don't you? Please. Um, please hit one of these and I'm on. Ooh, receding waters, unflood one tile. The gods are in my favor. All right. I'm going to unflood this one just because nothing's touching it right now. Or let me undo the library. Finally, luck has fallen on my side. <laughs> then the library goes right back over. That's actually okay though. That like that was that was kind of fortunate. All right, that actually that was somewhat fortunate right there, because uh, all the all the tiles that I kind of like don't care about, but at the same time like that helped. The problem is is that at the end of this round I have to get rid of three of these. As you can tell, I don't have much left uh so i may not be able to finish the game here let's see let's see let's see let's let's have hope won't help it won't help hope won't help but let's have hope <laughs> all right here we go <laughs> it's gotta happen not just hope okay so we didn't do any of these we can do these in any order i'm gonna go ahead and just do this here because this is gonna like make or break what i'm going what i'm doing right now let's see come on that's a three. That's a five. Hmm. I need crystal so bad. So yeah, I'll just use this. I need it so bad. So that guy, come on. That die is cursed right there. Get that die out of here. It's killing me. Four. All right. <laughs> that die is killing me right now. All right. That die is killing me. All right. So we got our gold nuggets over here. We only need a couple more gold nuggets. Here we go. We need a five. Come on. We got a six. Yes. And when we roll a six, when we roll a six, we get another roll. So I get this one. And I get the roll one more time. Let's see if I. No, I didn't get it. Okay. Then we have our other guy here. The one does not do it. And finally, our uh, hollow man. He gets a four. There are no bonuses. Man, that hurt. <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> oh that hurt and i don't even need these resources so let me just roll for them but all right so get that one and i get that one i don't even need these resources but i mean i could trade them in let's see do i have anything where i can trade stuff exchange one resource for any other resource so i i may just build that actually let's do that so i'm going to go ahead and build this one and i'm going to build this one Let's see, I have four. Yes, I do. I have four. So I have two. Two uh, gold here. And two atlantium. That is going to build this one here. The, the converter. The win, the matter converter. I'm going to just start putting these over here. I'll, I'll put them like in a tray in a, in a sense here. So now you can start to see the beauty that forms over here. Uh, so let's see. And then we have... Our next one here, which is the Secular Bulwark. Um, so let me go ahead and, ooh, let me go ahead and just take resources from the resource pile. No, <laughs> and, just, and just cheat my way to victory. All right, I'm going to need all the help I can get. I can probably cheat and still lose. When I make this one, though, I get to unflood a tile. Now, the timing of this is pretty good because now I can unflood a tile. And I need to. Okay. 
So hopefully, okay, hopefully. Okay. That's good. What are we going to unflood though? I think we're going to unflood. So I'd have to unflood one, two, three of these. I only have two, two, three, four, five, six. So I only have seven available. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> oh, crap. Uh. Okay, so I'll, I'll unflood this tile. Okay. I'll unflood this tile. Yeah, okay. I just, that's what it's going to be. Okay, that's what it's going to be. I want to unflood that tile. Um, and that's it for that. <laughs> now I need to undo the Wrath of the Gods, which I'm just going to take this one, flip it, this one, flip it, and now I have a problem because now if this one comes up, the cities comes up, I have to get rid of two more tiles. So that's two of those. And then I'm going to give up the forge. All right. It's going to be tight, homie. Here we go. What do we got left? We got four of these left. I need basically three rounds of life to get past this. Will I do it? The answer is no, but we're going to try. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Um, What do we got? What are our options here? Let's just see all our options. Let's see all our options. Okay, so now we have the Explorer. When a hologram is on a tile in a peninsula, the target number is reduced by one. That'd be great. I just don't even care right now. I need to survive. Scholar. Search the artifacts that were removed from the game during setup and choose one that contains a scholar. This round, Atlanteans in the same peninsula as the hologram may benefit uh, may benefit from this artifact. Remove it from the uh, game at the end of the round. These are the ones that are left out. Let's see what we have. We have, I may re-roll any die. This one here, this is uh, one of the possibles. This one, right. each time you take Forge's action, you may replace one Atlantean. Um, this one right here, just because it's I get to do that re-roll, that's going to be huge. And I'm going to use that. Um, this round. So let's go ahead and let's just go ahead and move this to the side and I'll put this right here to remind myself. Okay. What are we going to use over here? We, we, we need a lot of things. First of all, I'm going to get a mystic energy. Each round I get one um, and that's only in the solo game. Uh, let's see. What do we got? Huh. So I need, still need one, two, three, four, five, six gold. I do have something where I can do uh, trade resource. So let's go ahead and do that. So exchange any one of your resource for another resource. I have two of those and I can make two gold. That makes that easy. Gaining two mystical en energy, that's easy. Remove one of these, um, I, and as you can tell, I'm literally trying to stay alive here. So we are going to gain four Mystic Energy. So we're doing that. Uh, remove one of these. Remove two basic misfortunes or one major one. I can't survive another major. Um, like the Flood, Control Flood, I can't survive another one of those. So what do I do? I need to have this crystal. I need the crystal bad. So what we'll do is we'll put these here. I still need gold like crazy. And this one here, I get to roll again. So we're going to put these guys all together. And that, my friends, is going to be my round. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. 
Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, no. Here we go. <laughs> One. Catastrophic flood. All right, people. <laughs> All right, people. Oh. <laughs> This is what the end game looks like. All right, so catastrophic flood is flooding three tiles. I have two, three, four, five tiles. I can count this as one because the guardian will stop it. So I can uh, when a tile in the same peninsula as your leader is about to be flooded, you may prevent the tile from flooding um, by returning your leader to your pool without taking its own action. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that guy. That saves one of them. Uh, and then this would be two. And by the way, mystic barriers do not prevent this. So this is about to be the end of the game. So we have that one. So that, that's that's one <laughs> two whoa whoa big luck receding waters big luck receding waters but i have to choose one of the four randomly somehow by the the, the power of the gods pick one oh my god this is crazy what if i what if i pick one of those four and it's actually the one that it ends up being for that third one. Let's do it. Let's see. Let's see. That'd be kind of cool if we got reduced waters again, though. That'd be really cool. All right. All right. <laughs> oh, my God. Call of Seas. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, cool. Oh, cool. All right, I do go through this range of emotions when I'm playing by myself. Um <laughs> but usually it's it's at a certain time of night when I'm uh relaxing. Um let's see. That was insane. Um Drew, that was absolutely insane. Um talk about <laughs> that was insane. Okay. I didn't build anything this round. And that may come with a price, but let's start right here. These two right here, the siphons are gonna give me four. Four of these, two, four. All right, this right here, these two, exchange one resource for any other, for any other. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna wait on these two. I'm gonna wait on those two. I'm gonna see what, what happens here. So let's see. If we're rolling for our hologram. We get a re-roll too, by the way. This is four. That's not gonna work. It's a five. We need a five. And we have to use that to unflood the tile. So we get to re-roll one time. You may always re-roll any die of which you um roll. Roll a one. Oh. God, I need I need luck. I need real big luck. Fives, right? Oh, I need big luck. Oh, that's not big luck. Okay. Oh man, this is this is it. Two is gonna be four, so that's no. Man. Come on. Oh no. So the luck was in the deck, not in the rolls. All right. Oh, I did. I did. I rolled a one, so I can re-roll this. <laughs> I rolled a two. Uh, let's see. So the two equals four, but not six. <sighs> Man. Okay. So this is what I'm gonna do. Um, so that's that. Now, since I got no resources.
see, I should have built this right now, this pressure, pressure keel. It, it says shuffle all calm seas back into the misfortune deck, which I have quite a few, which would be nice. Um, yeah, I should have built this round, but that's fine. I should have, right? Should have. Um, we, we're going to take the gold. I get the exchange resources, so I'm going to go ahead and do the gold. I need a lot of gold, so let's do the gold. All right. Please come back. Wrath, oh gods. Yeah. Wrath, oh gods. So we have all these coming back. Where are all my guys? Okay, good. Cool. Whew. Here we go. Do I get rerolls with my hologram? Uh, yeah, I only get reroll in which I roll a one. That's why I was like, whoa. But yeah, it's only when I roll a one, it says. I thought I'd just get a reroll, but no, it's when I get a one, unfortunately. Um, I was <laughs> I looked at it again because I was like, oh yeah, great. You may always reroll any die on which you roll a one. So yeah. All right. That stinks, man. Oh, that stinks. Now we must endure the wrath. <laughs> we must endure the wrath. I mean, we don't really have a choice, right? So, one. Oh, yeah, we do want a choice. Well, I... I mean, one, two, right? Three, which basically means unless we get multiple column C's. <laughs> oh God, we get reducing waters, we get calm C's, we get, <laughs> all right, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take all this, I have five of them. And I'm gonna use the five to unflood a tile. That tile has to be this tile. Because I still need gold and I still need um uh, what's the name? I still need uh the crystal. Got enough bars. Got yeah, got enough bars. I have some mystic energy that I know is going to come to me each round. Did I take the one from the beginning? I don't think I took the one from the beginning around. Okay. Let's see what our... We got any of these guys in here that give me... Uh, <laughs> we got any of these guys in here that give me uh, unflood a tile? <laughs> so here we go. No, there are not ones that unflood tiles. Uh, hologram container cell will support one additional Atlantean. So I could have this have one additional. Each Atlantean on a tile and the hologram may, may re-roll a single failed roll. I wouldn't need this. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. All right. So we are the priest. Love this art, by the way. Vincent Trade is my favorite artist um, in the board game industry. Okay. What's the move? Are there moves? All right, here we go. I'm going to, we'll just, we'll just have our keeping it real moment here. What are we doing? We know we have to build. So let's just go ahead and get that out of the way. We also, we want to maybe, maybe remove some of these events from the game if we can. We also want as much mystic energy as possible because we can unflood a tile. We also have this ability that hasn't come up yet, but I can move when it floods on me, I can move it up, move all the guys who get flooded up to the, um, to the mystic energy area. So you <laughs> notice I haven't even got to the worker placements on the spots down here. I'm just looking like, what can I do? Um, six i have two i need four more i can't exchange that one one two three four i have four great 
Um, I need to make this shuffling all the calm C's back in. Is the library still open? Maybe I'll get a good card in there. Maybe I do. Maybe I'm just feeling risky and frisky. Uh, let's see. Risky, risky, risky. Okay. Stay with me, guys. Hopefully I make it. <laughs> hey, man, don't make fun of me. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm really trying. I'm trying to have some belief over here. Okay. I'm, I'm going to have to use this. I need more gold. So let's put the guy here that's going to give me the most gold. And it's also going to save my hide. Let's... Um, Yeah. Did I? What tile did I flip? Did I, did I flip this tile? I'm assuming I did, I guess. Wow. <laughs> this is nuts. Wait, let's just see. What are my chances of pulling a calm seas? I have one, two, okay, wait, hold on, three, so there's six in there, six more left in there. I command you, or at least give me a forest. Dude, I'm going to tell you all right now, this luck is insane wow Re receding waters which one do i choose <laughs> although my turn my game is literally over as soon as i hit <laughs> all right so let's do that wow receding waters comes out first and of course flood uh control flood comes next no what is this Cascading Calamities. Take all special misfortunes from the discard pile and shuffle them back to the deck. Oh my god. Alright, here we go. That really sucks. That catastrophic flood is going back in there. And that is not a good feeling. I mean, that's just not a good feeling. These, uh, these special ones are tough. They're tough. Tough. Oh, there's a tough... When I see those go back in, I just know there's a huge threat coming. Okay. So, um, for the people who have backed this game, have you played it yet? Have you, you know, have you had big moments yet? Have you had a, a complete and utter failure in this game like I am right now? <laughs> I'm about to have, and you still enjoy it, <laughs> or you don't like it? Let me know. I just want to find out where everybody, how people gauge this game. Uh, it came out initially, I think, in 2015. Because uh, I remember I was just coming back into board games at the time when this game came out. And I thought it was very interesting. There's a couple different rule changes. I don't remember them, but yeah, that's a bad card, man. Yeah, it is. Um, I remember that. But now they have this new one venture to trade art as you can see the components are baller this mat this play mat right here is nuts uh <laughs> it is like you know like like i said i don't care about that kind of stuff but in this situation like this is pretty pretty nuts all right see why i'm shuffling these cards right i'm shuffling crazy till I, I feel like something's good down there and i am not david blaine i'm just hoping <laughs> i am not david blaine i am hoping y'all here we go as you can tell, I'm also a bad shuffler, so that's not really going to help me. Here we go. Okay. The first one was Reduce Waters. The second one was that one with the bad thing in there. All right. Three. Energy Drain. Each counselor loses two Mystic Energy. This is actually okay with me. I have one. Fine. One more. Calm seas, baby. The hills, which is good because the hills is going to, and this really sucks because um, 
it, this sucks because if I would have not gotten that drain, I would have got a fifth, fifth, um, fifth tile. I mean, a fifth uh, energy, mystic energy. Actually, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. That's fine. Okay, so the hills. I don't flood, but I lose this guy right there. And now I take my turn. So I really got to I gotta hit this. Or if I miss, I just miss. So it's got to be at least a three. It is a five. Yay! All right, so I get one goal. Um, and then we're going to get... Remove one special. Or... Remove one special or two basic. All right, so let's see. These are bad. These 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 special ones are tough, man. All right, so let's go ahead and take the hills out, and let's take uh, the mountains out. Okay. So that's that one. Yeah, this is crazy that I'm even surviving this long. All right. <laughs> and then I gain two per over there. Except I don't have any place to place my workers, so it's not like I can stop this. I'm about to sink. Um, I'm about to sink. It's just that I'm going through a process here. So these will come five, I mean, uh, four, two, three. Four. If I had a fifth, I would be able to stop this, but I do not because of that one card that stopped me. Uh, but I will build two things. How about that? I don't have anything that would stop me from uh, pulling an extra tile or anything like that. Uh, but if I were to survive, um, this would give me, I'm going to go ahead and build this one, which is one gold and one crystal. All right, so this one right here, I can shuffle all the Calm Seas back into the deck. Let's say I survive till next round somehow by the Mystic Natures of all, which are not going to happen. Uh, <laughs> I'll shuffle them back in. I don't think there's a way. Uh, and then I have two gold and two crystal, which I don't have the crystal yet. I don't have the crystal. Don't have the crystal. All right. Yeah, I need the crystal. So we got one built. Man. I wish I had a spot that I could put this on and kind of like pull it off, but I can't. On the hologram, I get a re-roll. So here we go. Let's get a six for once, huh? How about that? Bam! Let's go. Crystal. Boom. And I get to re-roll, too. Crystal. Boom. I don't know if I get to do that multiple times, but it says um, if I roll a six in these... In these forest regions, I, I get to do that. I'm just going to do it, even though I'm going to lose anyway. All right, that's that one. That's a four. And, and that changes nothing. So this takes that four. I'll grab this one. That's six. Because this is worth two now. Um, dang, man. That really sucks. That really sucks because I almost had it, had something going there. Um, and then when I make that, I wouldn't have lasted the extra round, but this one right here, I'm going to make make this one where I get two volunteers next round. So this one is the Numerous Beacon, num, num, Numinous Beacon. I pay uh, two crystal, two gold, and then I would get rid of this, flip that over like that. It's a worker placement spot. I only have one spot for it. Um, and then I can get two of these little helpers um, during the next round. Now, I really would only need one more round to, uh, two more rounds to make it. But I did not because once these workers come off, since I don't have a five to uncover one tile, just to have one tile to survive. Um, I mean, I wouldn't survive anyway. This is down. I have to remove three tiles, and those three tiles, my friend, are those that are remaining. So you know what that means. 
That's my flooding sound effect. All right. Tough one. All right, here we go. <laughs> yeah, so what happens is, is basically um, you do, you build all these things right here. So if you, this is what you do. So you build the rest of these and you've seen those being built. Okay, those. Then you do it one more time. Okay. And even if you had other players, you would build the final piece and everybody's got to be there. Everybody has to contribute stuff to the last one. So if you're playing a multiplayer, you got to have like everybody has to contribute stuff. And then they gather all their stuff. And then you put the power core in and, and then you save. You know, save it. But that's not what happened in this story. <laughs> in this story, we did not do that. All right. So sorry about that. What we did happen, our truth, okay, our truth uh, is that we lost today in Atlantis Rising, um, which is fine. This game's so fun and it's agonizing and I don't think you win, you may win 30% of the time. And I mean, it's a co-op, seven people. I played, first time I played, I played with seven people. It was a disaster. I love the disaster. It was a lot of yelling and people, blah, blah, blah. There's really no quarterback and simply just because there is quarterback, there can always be quarterback in any game. But the one thing I think the reason why there's no quarterback is because you you just have, you know everything is closing in on you. There's really some process only to how these um, these power things are made. Other than that, like, Man, gather resources, basically. <laughs> gather resources, because it's about to go down. Get your people, start gathering, converting those resources, and then start picking away at these, uh, you know, these different little tiles here you have to make. Um, but overall, I just, I love this game. It, I, I love the game. It's beautiful, high quality components, and uh, it's it's a treat to play even solo. Um, some people would suggest you play it at least two-handed. That's fine. You would still have to use the hologram player um, if you do just so you know. Um, but the other one, this guy right here, the automaton is only used for the true solo mode, as I'd say. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. Um, if you would like to see an upgraded, up res version of this, because I got my new baller cameras and stuff like that, um, you can go to the YouTube page. It would be embedded probably next week, and then you can see it is. I'll also edit uh, for any errors and mistakes I made, because sometimes I'm moving so fast, I don't pay attention to things, or I grab an extra resource. Um, it didn't help me today, as you can tell, uh, but thank you so much uh, for joining me and watching me blabber on and go through a range of emotions playing Atlantis Rising. I am going to be playing a little treat of a game next week. Um, it is on Kickstarter right now. It is a deck sculpting game. I've been playing, I've been waiting to play for years. It is called Chiseled. You might want to check it out. It's called Chet Chiseled, the deck sculpting game. It's on Kickstarter right now by Michael uh, Epstein, and uh, he's been working at this game forever, and it's such a cool little um, solo game. So go ahead and check that out, but I'll see you guys next week. Take care, party people. Have a good one.